Given the level of anger I developed towards Constantine in Chapter 3, she better hope that she does not immediately pop back up on the screen as soon as I start Chapter 4. That's... <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Druvis, are you okay? Burden. I saw Burden by the storm. No. It's just a nightmare. Did you get sucked into my dream somehow, Druvis? Or is this just coincidental? A nightmare overly real. Is it because I haven't seen them for so long? was the first to leave. She said she was going to talk to Madame Z about which department we would belong to. I haven't heard from her since then. Yes. Here are their background reports I wrote for your perusal. Then, Sotheby. Her boredom was swept away by the invitation. She departed in such a haste that her beloved doll was left behind on the carpet. This is Sotheby, a well-educated lady born in a traditional Arcanist family. She comes from an extremely privileged background. Her family had a special influence around the world. Besides, she has limited social skills and scientific knowledge. It will be difficult to assimilate her. Compared to Sotheby, Mr. Apple was apparently not very happy to be invited. When he left, he turned a little green. Well, I can't blame him. Mr. Apple, under his modest and gentle appearance, lies a sharp perception by nature. Being so erudite, he always has his own views of our historical intelligence. As far as I know, he remains upset about Captain Regulus's involuntary affiliations with the Foundation. While Regulus has never been truly accepted by the Foundation, she has missed out all the education and training a member of the Foundation should have received. The influence left by the outside world on her is like a banner among the ordinary staff in the Foundation. A banner way too salient. Once the banner was held up, new arguments were raised, and thus exacerbated the factional conflict inside the Foundation. Factional conflict? There ought to be no factions in the Foundation. All of us share one common goal. You should know that well. Sure, that's what you'd like to believe, isn't it, Z? We all know it's not true. But the conflict has been there all the time. And it only grows. You can pretend, but that doesn't make it go away. The group that believes in mankind's supremacy is splitting the Foundation's belief apart. So, time isn't the only thing you've been observing this year. The conflicts cannot be covered by regulations anymore, Madam Z. The storm has been here for eight years. None of the people who are left behind can shake off the influence it brought. Human technologies are being reversed, while Arcanum is blooming. The unexpected first storm brought more than half of the Foundation's elite members away from us. 
The number of staff of the House of Integratus and the Committee cannot compare with that of their heyday, even now. In order to contend against Manus Vindicte, we have kept absorbing Arcanus from the outside world. However, the dissenting voices have only grown louder. Loud enough to be heard, and have become a faction that couldn't be shaken. The Mankind Caucus. Beyond their control, these new Arcanists only brought fear. They demand an unchallengeable power to make decisions, and a harsher control of Arcanists. Madam Z, I don't want my friends or me to be the sacrifice of this conflict. As we were four years ago. You know, the way that you let Madame Constantine just kill all of my friends by proxy. We're not doing that again, okay? You understand? That's why you handed in the background reports of those arcanists as the evidence for your proposition in the negotiation. Burton, what do you want? A neutral, safe, and legitimate place for us. What if I'm also on the side of Mankind Caucus? I don't know whose side you're on, but I believe the future you pursue doesn't end up with the Foundation being split apart by factional conflict. <sighs> That's what I learned from that stormy night. Your eyes told me. You didn't belong to that chess game. You may leave the reports. I need some time. No matter what your decision is. Thank you. Please put me through Delegate Mark. Hey, Burton. Hello. Your friend is waiting for you in the rehab center. Mesmer Jr., remember? Let us take you there, so you guys can catch up. I'm sure I can get there on my own, thank you. Miss Druvis, we are waiting for your response. Now? I am the last to be invited. Is there anything else that concerns you, Miss Druvis? When will my friends come back? They are waiting for you outside the suitcase, just as we are. All we want is an opportunity to talk to you face to face. Uh, I'm gonna call bull on that one, cause I doubt that we're all out there. In, in the loosest sense possible, 
yes, we're all outside of the suitcase. But we're not all, like, standing next to you in a circle waiting to see her. And I can He's totally like understand why Drubus wouldn't trust you. Great! Constantine, hello. May I ask where we are? The library. A place where people let down their guards. Ain't no one letting down their guard when you're staring at them like that. Trust always facilitates cooperation, don't you think? But I don't even know your name. The name is Constantine. I'm the Vice President of the Joint Committee of the Foundation. Please allow me to extend a welcome on behalf of the Foundation. We have sent this document into that suitcase days ago. I should assume that you have read it. What's your conclusion then, Ms. Weyerhauser? Are you referring to inviting Sotheby, Mr. Apple and me, to join the Foundation? We need to discuss this with Britain before we give you a proper response. We don't know much about the Foundation. As far as I'm concerned, I do not yet intend to join any organization. Hmm. That is to say, you are inclined to turn down my proposal. That is to say, she would appreciate it if you let Verton talk to her. My apologies. Verton has not only been of great help to us, but also saved us from the storm. I cannot accept the invitation without her opinion. Neither can I make decisions for others. Fair enough. You, who accidentally and rather luckily escaped from the storm in 1929, and now seek refuge from the Foundation. Weyerhauser, Sotheby, and Apple, you are the spire of the tower. Between you and the Foundation, the stories in the middle are our investigators who go out to rescue the wandering arcanists and humans. Verton is one of them. Merely a drop in the ocean. Verton, indeed, is the key to connect you and the Foundation. But let's not forget, only an entity as massive and powerful as the Foundation can provide you with long-lasting protection. Without the Foundation's supplies, manpower and technology even Burton can barely sail against the great tides of history let alone the ordinary people whose fate is doomed to struggle in the endless hazards of time open your eyes and take a look we are the unshakable fortress you should rely on Do you still wish to talk to Verton first? This is not how you make friends, Constantine. <sighs> She's receiving a treatment from us. Which means she won't make it back by your side before any decision is made.
Her suitcase will also be retrieved for research purposes after the meeting. As compensation for your displacement, we will arrange you a more decent room. Why would you suddenly need to research her suitcase now? She's been using it for years. Well, I suppose that's not true. But still. It's none of your business. Miss C will show you around the headquarters tomorrow. Go walk around and meet some people. Perhaps it will help you see what the most beneficial choice to all of us would be. Well, unfortunately, the most beneficial choice is probably don't piss off Constantine. But that does not mean that I appreciate anything you do. I will wait for your answer. But... Don't keep me waiting for too long. Yes, I have received a report on the Chicago office. Well done. Good timing. Yeah, I was gonna say, is this not supposed to be Z's office? Get out. Get out of her office. <gasps> Did I startle you? Considering what we've been through together, I didn't expect you to be as surprised as Miss Weyerhauser was. Sharon didn't tell me you're here. There's no need to tense up. I told her not to say anything. I have talked to Miss Weyerhauser. Everything is going well. She's gotten quite a shock. That little pale face. Like a stressed cat. She's in dire need of comfort from a friend. What do you want me to do? To do what a good tamer would do. Reach her with a sincere, friendly gesture. Ease their pains, answer their questions, and lead them on to the right path. Of course, most importantly, make them be of use to us, to serve the course of the peace of mankind. I see. None of them has signed the agreement. Yeah, because none of them trust you. With good reason. But this recruitment is essential for us. For the short term and for the long run. Can you see what I am doing? Oh, and there's one more thing. Don't address her as Miss Weyerhauser. She doesn't like it. I'll take note on that. Five and two-thirds portions of silver wine, twenty drops of toad oil, and some crumbles of pure gold from Ukayali. Is this really the time, Sotheby? Ingredient: the burning acid salts. Sotheby's incredible shape-shifting potion will be done at any minute. Hmm? What? What is going on? 
the edge of the potion has turned pink. <gasps> Blimey! It's the iron ball! It reacted with the potion! Yeah, middles tend to do that. Oh no, this is not good. What effect will it cause now? I should have brought my crucible with me. Nothing can work as a decent vessel here. Time is against me. Dinner will be served at any minute. I have to make up my mind now. Oh, were you planning an escape? Is that why you were making a transformation potion? for another potion. What can I do? This could be the last chance to make it out. Aw, oh, Sotheby. Miss Sotheby, do you need help? Uh, I am putting on stockings. This is ladies' dressing time, so don't you come in. Just a minute. It's all right. I'll be fine. I may look a bit different from expected, but it doesn't matter. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> That does not sound good. But I have to open the door. Uh, just stand really still. <laughs> Miss Sotheby? She must still be in the room. <laughs> Don't sneeze! Don't cough! Don't do it! Sotheby. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know why you're a coat wreck, but please. Jump! Jump! Ooh, go! Ooh. <laughs> the days of five minutes ago when she had human legs. Sotheby, you are not allowed to leave the room without permission. Please forgive me for being violent. Uh, th it's the Iron Ball's fault! This is false imprisonment! I must get out of here today! Bodyguards? Bodyguards! Oh, Sotheby. Sotheby. Hello, Coat Rex, Sotheby. I will do a Watakushimi onakase kudasai. Hi. Run, Rabbit. Run, Rabbit. Eh? Yeah? A little trick. Oh. I can't agree more. Ha. I will do a watakushimi onakase kudasai. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Run, rabbit! Run, rabbit! Yoshi, yoshi! Oh, oh! Affirmative. Fine. Oh, I can't agree more. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Right win. Extraction of the rainbow. Don't worry. There is this only last Wanna watch the aerial stunt? The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. the great potion alchemist that easily I guess that potion wore off pretty quick huh what what's going on what's wrong miss Sotheby your dress is a mess oh this room smells terrible I think you were going to be hard pressed getting out of there anyway. It's good to see you here. We must apply for more guards for this room. Value the mock exam of Zena's enrollment procedure. Oh, right! That's it! I couldn't find you anywhere. They said you were in the rehab center, so I came here. <sighs> as quickly as possible. Well, turns out the moment I saw you, the thing just 
slipped my mind. <laughs> I'm overexcited. All right, I got it. I'll head back then. It's a great pleasure to see you today. Miss Lilia, woohoo! <laughs> Go for it! Allez! Gangbatte! Why go for it, me? Do I look like a stagiaire to her? Nevajna. Let me check. Elevation. 2,500 feet. Mountainous terrain. Dense forest area. Good atmospheric visibility. Enemies. Groups of ground-based food creatures and airborne Elitio species 04. If we were to engage the enemy in this dense forest and fight in close range, our mobility will be largely reduced, and we can't borrow roll to dodge attacks from the ground. But if we pull up and deal with the Air Force first... Hmm, <laughs> close enough. Ready to fight. I think it's funny that this is Lilia's exam, but she can't even go to it, because water is bad. <laughs> oh, an eye for an eye. Star, rather. <laughs> it, it's blue. I'm never gonna hey, be able to I stop falling in water. That's them? Oh, I get it completely! Don't worry, you won't cry too! As if possible. Ciao, amore! Shiny, shiny arrows! Thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins in full! Oh! An eye for an eye! I get it completely! <laughs> That's it. Skuchne. What kind of new recruits they will let in by giving out such a simple exam? Are you evaluating the battlefield mock exam for this year? I heard Zeno has updated their question bank. No, just killing time. Hmm. <gasps> I smelled bison grass. Huh? In your canteen. Ha, huh, right. Authentic Zubrovka, one of the few pastimes I have here. Wanna have a sip? No, thank you. It smells fresh, tender, like thyme and lavender in spring. I believe it is precious. You can smell things. Fresh indeed, made in 1929. I'll say it's already about, uh, forget it. I don't do much. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so... You're here for Virtin too. 
I'm showing her around the foundation and decided to drop by the rehab center. Does she dream? Sometimes. It would be better if she didn't. Let me show you somewhere else. Have a good taste, Bellwether. Never tried the vodka from 1929 before. <sighs> good for you to get this in the US, when both alcohol and coumarin were banned. The thing you said about take care of them for me when necessary, I'll consider it. Raise a glass, Padruga. To your health, your soon recovery. To our better lives. To this unknown date. To this messed up time. Zazdarovye. You have a basic idea of this place now. I'll walk you to your room. Is there anything else you want to know? What do I have to do so you will release Burton? <laughs> it depends on what you hope to achieve. Depends on us. Is that what you said? Burton, the person we rely on, is being hypnotized in the rehab center. That suitcase, the world we inhabit, has been taken away for research purposes. It's as if the whole thing was manipulated to leave us high and dry and isolated. So that you would have something on us. Oh, I'm sure that's exactly what Constantine is doing. We do not have a choice, Madame Z. But good on you for seeing right through her. However, if we change the condition, that something they have can turn the negotiation around and in your favor. I... I do not understand what you mean. Before she went to the rehab center, Burton asked me about which department you would be in. And we have worked out a feasible proposal. <sighs> but a catalyst is what we need at present. The quiet, mild, and tranquil status quo makes the change seem unnecessary. A proper gust of wind will vitalize the wave of change and push it to the cusp of revolution. You mean... But it is risky. That's true. I cannot give you any promises. But a fixed pattern of management will only impede the development of everyone. I hold the same idea as Verdins in this case. Or... There is another pass in front of you. Sign your name and become an official member of the Foundation. A pass 
the many arcanists who cannot support themselves yearn for. So, you are not inducing me to join the Foundation? I'm here to show you around. My senior asked me to make sure that you had a comforting tour. I hope this tour is helpful for you. Where on earth do these seeds come from? They are stuck in the crevices. Can't even get them out with the gravity vacuum cleaner. It's like they are rooted. Oh, I'm sure they are. You cannot touch Druvis's seeds. They weren't here until a few days ago. I heard some of these seeds were also found in the rehab center. But the staff there got rid of them in no time. Bloody hell. Looks like we have to dig them out one by one with our fingers. Gotta get it done before the inspector's here. Seed? What seed? Hush, Sotheby. Don't give away the game. Hmm. Let me take a look. I'm so bored. Do I really have to sign the agreement to get out? But I haven't discussed it with anyone yet. A fair lady always thinks it through and reaches an agreement with the adults before she signs any document. Very good, Sotheby, very good. Mr. Carson has said that hundreds of times. It must be vital. Oh. Backup. We need backup. Emergency. A whole forest appeared in room 101. The material area. It's... It's growing out of Timekeeper's suitcase. Yeah, get going, Drubus. What are you talking about? How could a forest possibly grow out of a suitcase? As I said, it's an emergency. The staff in room 102 and 103 are here to help. A large number of branches came out of the suitcase. They can protect our positions and even attack us on their own. Yeah, you protect that suitcase, Drubus. Did you use Draco Drought? Of course not. The room is full of inflammables. The whole floor would be burning now if we did. We use military chainsaws, but it's a drop in the bucket. Fine, I'll go apply for a few more. Just wait for me there. Egeta, go help them out. Roger that. The forest is growing out of Miss Virgin's suitcase. Could it be Miss Druvis's great arcane skill? The guards are gone. 
Oh, I wish I could see that bizarre scene myself. Huh? What's that strange sound? Don't worry. Wow. The lock. It's actually broken. Which means I'm free to go. Hooray! Listen, Druvis is low key starting a riot. Hmm. The seeds have the same color as the crevices. I would have missed them if I didn't look carefully. Such a slender branch actually broke the lock. How marvelous! You are Miss Sotheby's hero! Hey! How did you get out? You. Oof. That hurts. Do you know how many vials of chemicals she has in those skirts? You could all go up in flames. How rude you are! My potions are broken! Did you conjure these plants? Stop them now! Huh? What are you talking about? Sorry, mate, but that one is on you. You shoved her. And that's how the potion spilled. Oh my. It's my quick, quick growth potion for plants. What do you think you're doing? Stop them! Why don't you ask nicely? Say right wing. Time. Wanna watch the aerial time? A little trick. Right wing. A little trick. Be careful, <laughs> young man. Haven't you eaten? <laughs> Haven't you eaten? Whatever. Skulk Yeah! Swallow my exhaust! <laughs> Haven't you eaten? 
Dragon! What a great season! Time. Oh, I can't agree more. Time to admire the cherry blossom! I will pray for you. Sorry.